In this video, we'll talk about the single most important thing when doing virtual production with Unreal Engine, green screen keying. This video is not about a rendering pipeline, but a real-time pipeline, and for this reason, we'll not talk about things like shooting your green screen video, then exporting to another software to extract it, and then bringing back to Unreal Engine. Instead, we'll talk about uh, hardware keyers like the Ultimat and my software keyer of choice, Eximetry. I'll talk about all Ultimate models and how they differ. I'll also talk about how to use Eximetry Keyer and also how to use the Ultimate with Eximetry for the best results when integrating real-time keying in Unreal Engine to unlock endless possibilities. Let's talk about the Ultimate. There are four models and we'll talk about three of them. The first one is the Ultimate Mini HD. This baby right here is a really powerful piece of software. It's cheap and it can achieve great results, but its weakest point is also a deal breaker for many. It doesn't have separate fill and matte outputs. But what does that even mean? It doesn't sound like something that I need. So let me explain how all this works. Right now you see that I'm in a different studio with a green screen background. I can turn my Ultimate Mini HD on and voila, we're doing virtual production. In this case, all Unreal Engine is doing is serving as a background. The Ultimate is taking my camera's feed, keying it out, and placing it on top of the background, which is an Unreal Engine scene. The entire compositing is done inside the Ultimate. For many of you, this setup might be all that you need. You want to do talking head videos. You want to have the possibility of changing the background on demand, uh, like I'm about to show you, like this. Okay. So if that's you, then all you need is the Ultimate HD Mini. The problem is we're creative people. We wouldn't be doing virtual production otherwise. And do you know what crazy people, I mean creative people love? Crazy ideas. So with this version of the Ultimate, you will not be placing yourself inside Unreal Engine. Neither will you be doing camera movements because you're not inside Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is behind you. You're not inside a 3D world. In order to do that, you will need separate fill and matte outputs. As you can see here, this is a program window. The program signal is the final composited image that gets sent to the audience. And this is a foreground input, which is basically your camera's raw feed being sent into the Ultimate. Matt, aka Key, defines which parts of an image, video, are visible or transparent. Example, a green screen key creates a map that tells the compositor which areas to keep and which to remove. The fill is the actual image. For example, if the matte cuts out a character, the fill is the footage of the character that shows through. In short, matte equals shape, where to show. Fill equals content, what to show. You see, standard video outputs, SDI, HDMI, don't directly carry an alpha channel, which is transparency. We split the information into two synchronized outputs. By sending the fill and mat separately, we can recreate transparency in real time. Understand now? This version of the Ultimate is for people who only need to change the background on demand. No crazy moves, no Christopher Nolan kinds of ideas. Before we wrap it up with this model and move on to the max, let me explain how exactly the Ultimate HD Mini works. So this is the Ultimate Mini. Right now there's no camera input. And this is my camera, ready to be plugged into the Ultimate via HDMI. The HDMI cable that gets sent out from my camera goes into the camera foreground of the Ultimate. But as you see, there's no background image. We have to set it up inside Unreal Engine and send it to the Ultimate. Let's do it right now. But this part here is not a tutorial, it's just a demonstration and overview. The more detailed tutorial is coming towards the second part of this video. So this one is just a demo. Let's go into the plugins, type framework, we need two plugins for this to work. We need framework, uh, Media Framework Utilities and Media IO, fra IO Framework. These are the two plugins we need. And also, I said two, but it's three. Black Magic. Okay, so you set up your camera and now go into uh, Content Browser, right click, go to Media and choose Black Magic Media output so call this demo for the demo purposes open and now
we need to set up this black magic. Remember, the black magic has to be set up exactly as, as the same as your camera feed. If my camera feed is 1080p 50 frames per second, your black magic has to be the same. If it's not, the signal will be empty. So I choose, okay, it's already recognized in my 12G Extreme. Even though it's 4K, I'm choosing 1080p and here is set to 30. I need to make it 50, okay? And then it seems it's all good here. And then you save it. Nothing happened yet. So now you go to window, virtual production, media capture. So with this window open, now you're gonna tell Unreal to send your camera, not the viewport, the camera view to, to be the, back, uh, the, the ultimate background. So here we choose, we have three options here. Uh, we're going to choose here, media viewport capture. You're gonna click the plus button and extend it, the index. First, things, uh, first thing first, we need to choose a camera, okay? I'm just going to type the camera here. And below, we need to choose that demo, the black magic output that we chose. It needs to be the demo. Choose that. Capture options, you don't need to do anything. And now, as soon as you hit capture, the whole camera view will be sent to the ultimate. So let's just do that. So now that you're itching for that sweet fill and matte outputs, I can finally present to you the ultimate HD. Not Mini. The Ultimate HD is a little bulkier than the Mini, but it features separate fill and matte outputs. And if you're still confused about fill and matte, here's exactly what they do. You see, when using the fill and matte outputs, your cutout final composite image gets sent into Unreal Engine. That means when you insert your talent's footage into the engine, it'll already be keyed out and you just have to apply it to a media texture inside the UV5. But with the Ultimate Mini HD, uh, you know, the one without the separate uh, matte and fill outputs, you can only bring in the whole composited image. If the background inside your Ultimate is green and hasn't been keyed out yet, it'll show like this inside Unreal Engine, which means you'll still have to key it, which defeats the whole purpose of having an Ultimate Mini HD. Next, we're going to talk about the GOAT and overpriced Ultimate 4K. At $5,000, it has forced to cover all your needs. This is not meant for small studios. I really hope Blackmagic would make a 4K version with all these ports and keep the price low since the versions we have covered so far are all 1080p. It goes without saying that the Ultimate 4K has separate fill and matte outputs and I'm not going to cover what all the other ports do since this tutorial is about green screen keying and all the, uh, those extra ports on the Ultimate 4K have nothing to do with keying. The Ultimate 4K and the Ultimate HD, the one with the separate fill and matte outputs, are basically the same class of products and can achieve exactly the same results. I really have a beef with the price of the Ultimate 4K. It costs four times more than the HD version and despite having all those ports, most people buy this version for the 4K signal. If you're using the Ultimate HD, even if your camera is 4K, you'll only be able to record the final program in 1080p, which is a big disappointment. And since these two particular models do the exact same thing, we don't need to talk about them any further. The next Ultimate model would be the 8K Ultimate. Come on, we don't need to cover this one. Finally, it is time for Eximetry. It has a world-class software here and works perfectly with Unreal Engine. We'll talk about King entirely inside Eximetry and also bringing in the keyed out video feed from the Ultimate HD or the 4K version, not the Mini. The Mini won't work because you need those separate fill and matte outputs. So let's begin with the first, King inside Eximetry. Eximetry's cure is simple and powerful. It's one of the best software cures I've ever come across and many dispute that it can outperform the ultimate. It's not true. It has a best software based cure, but it doesn't have the best cure. King is about even lighting. You absolutely need to light your green screen evenly to get the best results. I found the ultimate can be much more forgiving than software based cures. So let's see some examples. 
I'm using the Ultimat HD Mini with very uneven lighting. You can see the quality is really good, super smooth, not perfect, but as long as you're not trying to find problems with the keying quality, it'll probably go unnoticed. Now I'm using the Eximetry here in the exact same conditions. You can judge the difference by yourself. This setup is using the Eximetry here and not using Eximetry with the Ultimat as I said I was going to do earlier. This part is coming soon. So now that I've given you an overview of each system, it is now time for a very long tutorial on how to use each one of them. I'll walk you through setting up and operating the Ultimat HD Mini, the Ultimat HD, the Ultimat 4K, Eximetry here, and finally Eximetry plus Ultimat 4K. I'll walk you through how to set up everything and what you'll need. For that, let's go back to my Mini Studio. 